let's have some fun with our design today. Join me as we create interlocking gaps on our design, more than one letter, and using our brush tool. Let's do this. So hover on the Instagram post and then click where it says create a blank canvas and then it would open up your canvas like this. Then you're going to press T for text and then you make your text bigger and search for Anton as your font. Press H for the big help that we're creating. So we're going to make this size maybe 400 and then what you would then do let's change color so that when we duplicate we have the color that we want to use so i want to run with blue on this one i will go with that uh, blue and then i'm going to duplicate this slide uh, by four and then I would go to, this is our H, and this would be our E, capital letter, and this is our L, and this is our P. So in order for me to then create a blank page, I just click on blank page, and then I click on text again, because what I want to do now is to say I want to add the me. So I'm going to change the text to the cursive. The font that I would like to use for my cursive is this Nick Ainley. And then I would make this bigger so that I have my me. Because our help is 400, we'll make this one 300. Then I would change the color to this light blue. And then I have my help me design so once i'm done with this design what i'm going to do is to go to download well let's quickly change the design name to help me so that we can find it when we need it and then you're going to click on download and then i want to download it as a transparent background what Canva is going to do for me, it's going to download five pages in a zip file and then I will unzip it and load it back to Canva. So I click on transparent background. If you don't have transparent background, you can always upgrade. For the exercise of this tutorial, we do need the pro version because the brush tool is only available with the transparent background tool that we use to take off text and um, we do interlock wording so what you then do is you click on download and then canva will download a zipped file like that one drag your zip file to your desk desktop then open it with a utility or extract all if you are on Windows computer then it will extract the help me folder then you go back to your Canva and then you then open a presentation. So if you're on presentation, you just click a blank canvas for presentation. And then you go to your uploads and you go upload media. Then you go find that folder with help me on your desktop, highlight everything and then add it to your media that you've just designed and you have created. Okay, great stuff. So now all of the words have uploaded, including the me. What you would then do is you would start with H. You click once and you add your H and then you're going to crop the outside of the H so that you're just left to work with your age itself. So how you would do that, you would click on crop and then you would crop because this is an image now. So you're cropping out all of the 
and used image around your age and you click on done and then you're happy then you click and you drag your age to the size that you would like to have this age be on your design so it's up to you how you want to size this then you're going to do exactly the same with all of the letters so i'm going to fast forward and crop size it so that it's exactly the same size for everything okay so our help is done so we're going to click and highlight and put it in the middle of the page you see the pink lines it shows us that the position of the help is in the middle so what i'm going to do now is space it so that it is horizontally even and now it's even by clicking on position and horizontally you can tidy it up as well so that it's nice and even and it is in sync and that's how you adjust that so once you're done with your help you're going to add your me so i'm going to um, adjust the me as well i'm going to crop the image take out all the unnecessary images around and i'm going to click done and i'm going to size it so that it's on top of the me the way that i would like help me to look like once i'm done erasing the background of the picture did i crop too much there i think i did That's how you fix it if you've made a mistake anyway so there we go there's our picture i'm going to change my background and make it it's always so gorgeous with black you can see everything if it's black your design is done this is how you want it to look like when you're done obviously with the words interlocking between each other so how are you going to do this make sure that you duplicate this page because the second page you're going to use to go get the letters one by one. So I'm gonna duplicate the page. As you can see at the bottom of the page, I have page one and page two. I'm currently on page two. I'll jump back to page one, and then I'm going to delete E, L, and P. And then I'm left with my H and my M, E. This is how I would like the whole design to look like at the end of the day. So this means I need to erase information over there on my age so depending on which one you want to interlock you're going to click on the one that you want to take away um, the picture from so with the age i'm going to click on age because i want to go create a gap or i want the interlock to be over there therefore i'm going to click on the age and then I'm going to click on edit image. Then I'm going to go to BG remover, background remover. And then it starts applying the background remover. So what is very important is once you've clicked on background remover, take off whatever you want to take off on the same um, take, if I can put it like that. On edit until you're done. Don't apply if you're not ready to move on to the next letter if i can put it to you like that because if you apply then the system or canvas saves that change then you can restore or erase so it's very important that you edit until you're happy and then you apply so we're gonna now go and use our eraser because we want to take off from there so i'm gonna make this a little bit big for me so i can see and what you can also do is you can lock your me so if you want to lock a layer you just click on the layer itself 
and you click on this lock and then when you're busy working the layer that is locked doesn't disturb you so i'm going to go back to our background remover and then i'm going to start um, creating the interlock or creating the gaps between the two and i'm going to start with erase and um, with the brush size it gives me a 25 so we're going to play around with it we're going to use both erase and restore until we're happy with our design so let's go uh, the m was over there according to me and then once you've erased and you want to see how it looks like click on done and then it will show you how it looks like so clearly i've taken off from the wrong place so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on restore and i'm going to restore my picture and then i'm going to go done then i'm going to erase then i'm going to go a little bit down because i saw that i went a little bit up with you taking coffee no wine no it's morning in south africa so i haven't had wine no whiskey or whatnot then you click see i took off too much then i'm gonna go erase i don't know restore and i'm gonna restore my design Okay, so that's what you would do. You would pick on it until you're happy, getting very meticulous with your design until it fits the way that you want. So with the age done, you're going to then go back to your duplicate and then go copy your E and then go to your actual design and paste your E. So now we're going to do exactly the same for the E and it looks like E is quite um, adventurous <laughs> if we, we can put it like that. So you can then decide if you would like to um, take off or put in the gaps on E or if you would like to tweak your me. So if we're going to be adventurous and we are going to take off from me then we're going to send the e to the back of our design and it looks like that i think it's going to make things quite cool and interesting if the second letter that we interlock it is the me or the me so we're going to do exactly the same we're going to click on the me it is locked at the moment you're going to unlock it and then you're going to edit image and you're going to go to your background remover once you get to your background remover exactly like we've done with the age don't leave until you're happy don't apply until you're happy with what you've taken away from the design itself We're getting there, we're getting there, oh my word.
okay so next you're going to go back to your template you're going to copy the l and you're going to go back to your design you're going to paste your l and you're going to send your l to the back and this time we would like to take away from the l Okay, last one would be P, right? And then we're going to go to our template. And we're going to copy our P, paste it to the design. And we are going to click on M or me. But background remover, same principle. Are we going to take off the E or are we going to do the P? Either way, you decide. Whichever way you go, it's up to you. It's your design. Apply. Let's look at our design. As I said earlier on, it needs precision and it needs patience and it can be done. It's fun, can be done, only available on Canva Pro. Go to my link below, click on it, test it for 30 days, have fun with it. Let me know in comments, how is it going with using this beautiful remove and um, restore tool that we have on Canva. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.